my gosh, I can't sing his praises enough. I don't know how he does it. I wake up in the morning and I ask myself one question. You know, what can I do for the Moffat Pointers today? What can I do to make their lives and their families' lives um, more recognizable to the American people? He will do whatever he can do to help families get that gold medal. This corner right here is dedicated to the most decorated African-American Marine or Moffat Point Marine in history, Sergeant Major Lewis Roundtree. As you can see, there's a picture here of the founder of the Moffat Point Marine Association, Master Gunny Brooks Gray. This is a Moffat Point Marine climbing a hill, actually drops his ammo can, picks up his rifle, and engages in a fight. And that is atypical of what the Moffat Point Marines did in many of the historical battles in the Pacific during World War II. This flag uh, was carried in the Pacific uh, by Private First Class Barry Deshawn. This is my favorite corner because I think this capsulizes almost everything that the National Moffa Point Marine Association has done over the last 20 years. Most of the things in this basement are, are strategically placed. It may look like a haphazard list of stuff, but it's placed so when I sit in a certain area, I can see certain people. And I can look up and see a picture of my father, who is lower right in the corner there, who was actually a Navy pharmacist in World War II. My grandfather in the upper left-hand corner was part of the 57th Ordnance Company um, that landed in Normandy, uh, served in the Rhineland in the Battle of the Bulge in World War II. The upper right-hand corner is my Uncle Bob. He was actually a Navy corpsman uh, that served in World War II. There was only about two dozen African-American Navy corpsmen. My Uncle Bob was one of them, and he actually deployed to the Pacific with the Marple Pointers and served on Guam. The lower left-hand corner, well, that's my picture. So I had a pretty good 25-year run in the Marine Corps, um, 16 moves in 25 years, uh, four different tours overseas, and different types of duty. And, but once I got in the Marine Corps, I was interested in the history, because I've always been a history kind of person. That was my favorite class in, um, in high school. But during my first year in the Marine Corps, I worked for a uh, African-American, a black master gunnery sergeant, who happened to be a Moffa Point Marine. I didn't know it at the time. When I got orders to Okinawa in February 1978, he gave me this book that I'm holding in my hand and asked me to read it. Um, anybody that's ever been to Okinawa, it's a 15-hour flight. Uh, I read this book three or four times. By the time I landed in Okinawa, Japan, I, I think I had it almost memorized. And it was like an enlightenment. I was like, wow, we do have a history. So when I got to Okinawa, Japan, I started teaching the history. Uh, so that was in February 1978. So I've been teaching the history about African Americans in the Marine Corps for 44 years. Boot camp? Yes. And when you're learning about the history, Yes. you weren't learning about the Marker Point Marine. Not at all. And there's a, a, a lot of stories behind that, uh, but no, not one second. Uh, but when I came up in the ranks and was getting a little bit more stripes on my sleeves, I started questioning that. But the more I studied and became pretty much an expert on the history, I understood why it wouldn't happen. The Marine Corps didn't want you to know. It's just that simple. Prior to 1942, nobody was in the Marine Corps that looked like me. They had to fight, literally, for the right to fight. It is the mission, it is the absolute mission of the National Moffa Point Marine Association to ensure the families have this legacy because pretty soon the last Moffa Point Marine would take their final breath. And if you study World War II, you understand 16 million Americans served uh, during that war. Approximately 80% of them are dead. If I take those same numbers and apply it to the 20,000 African American Marines that served as Moffa Point Marines, we got to honor these Moffa Pointers while they're still living. And even if they're past, we want to honor their families so their legacy lives on in perpetuity. I've dealt with tragedy like many other people, and I've, I've dealt with some serious tragedy. And, and I made a deal, me and, me and the Lord made a deal. Uh, you get me through this one, and I'll serve you. Uh, he got me through it, and I think this is what he kept me around for. You know, this is what I do. This is all I do. My mission is to make sure every member gets the medal. It may not happen in my lifetime, but hopefully the people that learn about this, they will continue it on, and we'll get every family this congressional goal. It's a legacy. It's a legacy that can never be taken away. Receive the Congressional Gold Medal. And I want to see every family get it.